Hey everybody, Daryl here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Dangerous Relationship. We are on our last video here with Ruhei Shindo, his extras. First off is his sequel, Looking Toward the Future. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. I felt like we had been dating forever now. His presence at my side became so permanent, it was impossible to imagine life without him. Today, like so many times before, we came with Ruhei together to the studio. Congratulations, Dorilli. Takuya, don't be so loud. Sorry, sorry. I'm just so happy for you. I wonder if it was even a good idea to tell you guys. It's fine. He makes it hard to believe sometimes, but Takuya can keep a secret. I hope you're right. You sure it's safe coming here? Yeah, besides, I wanted to tell you all the news. Thanks. Koichi was staring at my stomach. Oh, <laughs> you think I'm pregnant? Something the matter? It's nothing. He was such a mysterious person, it was hard to tell what he was thinking sometimes. You don't have work after this, right? No, why? Am I not your personal stylist in this one? I'm off, so how about we go into town together? Are you sure that's a good idea? It's fine. No one's going to be there at noon on a weekday. Uh, in town? In all the town it's just going to be deserted on at noon on a weekday? Sounds fun. Can I come too? Take the hint, man. Of course not, and keep out of our conversation. Fine, you're so bossy. Be careful now, take care of yourself. Thanks, I will. Shall we? Okay, bye now. See you later, stay safe. Leaving the others behind, Rohan and I were on our way for a rare trip into the city. Full of excitement, I looked down and gently rubbed my belly. What? Am I seriously pregnant? The two of us held hands and walked as we left the studio. Do you remember that place, Rohei? Hmm? I pointed over to a small alley that was a shortcut to the studio. You don't? Of course I do. How could I forget? It's where we met for the first time. So you do remember? It feels like so long ago, and yet just like yesterday. I know what you mean. Who'd have thought that we'd end up together like this? I know. It's hard to believe we're holding hands and walking like this. It truly seemed like a dream sometimes, that Rohe and I were together like this. Getting here wasn't easy though, a lot of things happened, both good and bad. It seemed like a lot more bad than good at the time. Ain't that the truth? The media pestered Rohe constantly, trying to get a scoop on his mysterious girlfriend. Since he never revealed her, some people were starting to believe that she didn't even exist. Thanks to the many people that supported us, our relationship survived without being known. It'd really be a relief if they finally decide your girlfriend never existed. Heck no, I do have a girlfriend. It's you. Ryohei. Someday I'll tell all my fans about you. But what if someone finds out before then? Don't worry, I'll protect you. Alright. Are you worried about it? A little, to be honest. He reached over and rubbed my stomach. Don't worry, I'll protect you two forever. I am pregnant and he knows! He said, flashing a smile at me. A product of our love, a new life was blossoming inside me. Wow, this is totally a first in all the games I've read so far. I think, right? This is the very first Otome game in which I have been pregnant. <laughs> Let's go. He squeezed my hand in his palm and led me forward. Okay. I squeezed back, letting his warmth flow through me. Where do you want to go? I'm fine just walking with you like this. Well, there's a ton of places I want to go. Really? I've got a huge list of places to take you. All these places I want you to see. So many that I can't settle on just one. I thought you've never been anywhere and don't want to know where anything is. I thought I was the one that's supposed to show you everything. We can visit all of them, one at a time. We'll have plenty of time to, you know. When? Aren't we always busy? Uh, I guess you're right. Um, excuse me, are you Rohei Shindo? A timid voice squeaked out of the blue surprising both of us. Sorry, no. I get that all the time. Oh, sorry. The girl ran off, looking very embarrassed. That was close. This doesn't look good. What? Looks like those other people heard her. But did they hear him? And his excuse? I glanced around to see dozens of people peering at us curiously. It's only a matter of time until someone finds out. What should we do then? This way. He pulled my hand, 
leading me into a labyrinth of alleyways. Where are we going? I know a good place to hide around here. Where? You'll see soon enough. We ran through narrow paths, weaving and twisting to escape the public eye. Here again! Here's our refuge. Hey, what? He had led us to that homely and quiet cafe that no one would come looking in. Welcome! Hey! Look who we have here! The really and Rohe! Yuki? What's wrong? Why are you out of breath? We had to run here. What are you doing back there? Oh, I work here now. Seriously? Oh, I started last week, part time. Here, take a seat, you two. You can't go running around like that, really. Oh, I guess she knows I'm pregnant too. How? Who doesn't know that I'm pregnant? Come, sit here, Dorelli. He pulled out a chair for me, and I took it. Thanks, Jorge. How are you feeling? Does anything hurt? I'm okay. We didn't run far. Sorry for making you run. I was afraid someone might see us. Don't worry about it. I'm okay, really. All right. His worried eyes glanced down at my belly. You need to take better care of your body. It's not just yours anymore. I'm taking care of it, believe me. This baby is more precious to me than anything. I said while gently caressing my stomach. It still had plenty to grow, but inside of me was Rohe and my baby. Just feeling it inside of me filled me with the greatest joy imaginable. You look so happy. I am, for good reason. Can I touch it? You did just this morning. It's not like it's grown any. So, I like to let it know that I'm here. Oh, that's such a cute thing to say. <laughs> Rohe smiled as he gently rubbed and pat my tummy. Well? Yeah, it hasn't changed a bit. I told you so. Gosh, you're so mean to me lately. I am? All you do is stare at your belly and rub it. Looking so happy and all. Are you jealous? Well, I am happy. Me too but it's like the baby stolen you away from me. Rohe pouted with a pitiful expression. <laughs> You're just jealous. Sorry, I guess it's weird to be jealous of my own baby. He spoke, still rubbing softly. It was followed by a peaceful silence. So, where's the owner at anyway? Hey, you went shopping, so I'm holding the fort. Did you want to put in an order? I'll have tea. So, milk it is. What? I said tea. You are pregnant. You shouldn't be having caffeine. That's right. Though, I don't think having tea is going to hurt you. Want me to bring a coffee for you? Uh, no. Milk, please. Hmm? If you can't have what you want, I want to be right there with you. Besides, I need to eat healthier if I'm going to be a dad. Oh, he said with a chuckle. Going to be a good example for your baby and healthy to boot. The smell he gave afterwards made him seem so unusually mature. Thanks, Rohe. Look at you two. At it already. Yukie walked back behind the counter and started fixing her drinks. How have you told the other members about your baby? I did. Everyone was so happy for me. Ah, oh, so they did know. I was under the impression that, uh, only the leader had the idea somehow. Oh, that's wonderful. They were surprised at first. They were surprised at first. Especially Takuya. <laughs> he certainly was. Oh, what about Koichi? He just congratulated me with a blank face as always. Oh, that's all? Did he say anything else? Like what? Like, I wish I had a girlfriend, or I want a baby too. Nothing like that. Oh, that's too bad. You really like him, don't you? Of course. I chose to work here because he comes here a lot. He does? Yeah, and when he does, I give him extra good service. He won't notice that. You think? He figured us out right away. Yeah, but he's blind when it comes to himself. He won't think anything of it. Aw, oh, one of those. Observant about everyone but himself. Well, at least he's better than some people. Well, what are you two yapping about? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. What's this? Ryohei and Dorelli? I started to panic when someone came in calling our names. However, when I turned to look, it was just Koichi. Hey, will you meet again? P please take a seat. Whoa. Yukie trampled past. <laughs> Yukie trampled past Rodohe to welcome Koichi into the cafe. Give me the usual. Certainly. 
I never thought I'd run into you two here. We come here often. It's a nice place to relax and chat. Everyone but Akira comes here often, apparently. Oh, that we still have to see Kay. You look tired. Are you okay? I am, but thanks. If you ever need anything, tell me. I could even get Ruhei time off if you need it. I can get time off all on my own. I know, but if you need my help, I'll give it to you. Right, I'll keep that in mind. By the way, I have a favor I want to ask. What's that? Not to you, to Dorilli. What? Me? I wanted to ask you earlier, but I didn't get the chance. Would you mind if I touched it? Really? So that explained why he was staring at my stomach earlier. I'm having a hard time saying yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a little embarrassing. See, she doesn't want you to. Hmm. How could you ask something like that? She's my girlfriend, you know. Were you just joking? No. I'm serious, actually. Then, if it's just a little... <laughs> but it's not moving at all. Even if you touch it, you won't feel anything. That's right. Y you generally don't feel that until later on. Oh, well then, I'll ask later after it grows a bit. No, I won't allow it. Why are you so angry about it? Get your own baby! It's my baby and my girl. Keep your hands off them. Ruhei, settle down. No, I can't. No one can touch but me. Jeez, he's getting really bad. He jumped in front of me as if guarding my belly, shielding me from Koichi's hand. All of us chatted together for a while until the sun went down, and we all left for home. It was dark enough outside, and few people were out, so we felt safe holding hands. You should never do that in public if you're trying to hide, even if it looks like there's nobody outside. It'd probably be a good idea if we started getting ready. For what? The baby dummy? Our family of three. We'll have to move, you know. Three, huh? Thinking of our third member really drove in the fact that we were now a family. We would get married, have a child, and live happily as a family together. I felt so blessed to have happy memories and such a promising future. Really? Ruhei peeked at my face, curious why I'd suddenly become silent. You're crying. What's the matter? Uh. Ugh. Wiping the tears off my face, his brows twitched with worry. What is it? Happy tears. Happy? Thank goodness. I thought you were afraid or something. Breathing a sigh of relief, he pulled me close into his chest. But oh, hey, if someone sees us like this... It's okay. If that happens, I'll protect you. I promise I'll take good care of you. Those were the same words he said when he confessed to me. Uh, okay. I faintly felt the quickening beat of his heart against my cheek. It might not sound that convincing, but you can rely on me. No, I believe you. I relied on him more than he could ever imagine. His hand brushed the hair off my face and caressed my cheek. It felt so gentle and warm that it made me start crying all over again. <laughs> huh? Really? What's wrong? Startled by my tears, he stood back and looked into my eyes. I'm pregnant, I'm hormonal! Away from his embrace, I felt so lonely that I pulled myself in and clung to him tightly. <sighs> he sighed, a bit unsure and surprised, before gently stroking my head once again. We returned to my home together. Your face is all red. Are you sure you're all right? Looking at my face under the bright light, he looked genuinely concerned. I'm fine, really. I was just so happy that I couldn't stop crying. If you say so. He spoke with a smile, relieved by my words. I would have never known what it felt like to be happy enough to cry, if I had never met you. But oh hey. You're everything to me. You're gonna make me cry again! When I'm with you, I'm so happy. It's so fun being with you that I never wanted to end. And it doesn't have to. I wondered if Ryohei realized that I felt the same way. Before him, I never knew what it felt like to be so happy that I had to cry. It was him and him alone who showed me how it felt. Come on, sit down. You need to take it easy. I'll pour the tea first, just a minute. No, wait, I'll do it. You sit down first. Ryohei scrambled ahead of me toward the kitchen. You don't have to go that far. Though seeing him act like this was so adorable I had to smile. He was reliable in a pinch, but he seemed like such a child doing things sometimes. Hmm? Which cup am I supposed to use? His confused voice came from the kitchen as I sat down. Just use the... You stay there, don't worry. I'll figure it out. 
Okay. This goes with that one. Rohei muttered to himself while he tried to work things out. It was easy to see how overwhelmed he was, since he never poured the tea before. He worked slowly and carefully, trying not to break anything as he poured the tea. There we go. Sorry it took so long. With one mug in each hand, Rohei came waltzing back with a huge grin on his face. The sight was too cute to bear. I'm going to start doing more of the things you do to make it easier for you. I can make tea. It's not that big a deal. Besides, you're always busy with work. Concentrating on that is more important. I will. Don't get me wrong, but... I just want to do whatever I can to be less of a burden on you. A burden? I'm not that good at doing things a normal guy should be able to do. So I at least want to help by doing what I can, you know? His sincere eyes bored into me, showing doubt and worry. Ryohei, thank you, but you're so wrong. What? Not once have I thought you were a burden. Sure, your job isn't your typical job, but... It's special. Special in a good way. Why? Seeing you do it makes me feel special. I wouldn't have it any other way. To really? With eyes glazed by a teary mist, he held my shoulders and kissed me. I'm so happy I could cry. <laughs> me too. We stared at each other with smiles, but he blinked and went back to being serious. I'll never let you regret choosing me. Slowly, steadily, our lips came close and overlapped. I felt the warmth of his lips, the lips of a man I loved and who loved me. Do really, I love you. I love you too. I'm going to be easy on you because you're carrying our baby. Are you really? But when it's born, you better be ready for me. But oh hey, stop thinking about that all the time. You're going to be a daddy soon. Can't you act a little more mature? Daddy, huh? I like the sound of that. When he rubbed my belly, it wasn't hard to imagine him as a caring father. Once more, he leaned in for a kiss that we both held for a good long time. Cradled in his loving embrace, I closed my eyes. A single tear rolled down my cheek and across my face. I knew that as long as we were together, we would be happy forever. Oh, that's one of the sad things about not being able to see the entire picture on these because you know here in this extra in the you get to see the full picture here that you would see in the the mobile games where he's touching her belly and it looks so much cuter than the cut picture all right on to the date scenario darts lesson one day a few months after Rohan and i started dating let's go to a darts bar what like usual, all members had gathered in Yorohei's dressing room. What are you even talking about? Darts, you know, darts. We know what darts are. Why do you want to go to one of those all of a sudden? Everyone's playing it now. It's a fun game. Takuya pinched his fingers together and threw imaginary darts at the wall. Have you ever played darts, really? No, I haven't had the chance to. Most girls don't. It's more of a guy thing, I think. Right, so... When you play with girls, you get to show them how and get all close. So that's what you were after? Well, it's just one good reason out of many. So, why a darts bar? You could play darts and drink at the same time. It's great. Wouldn't it be a perfect place for the meeting we do after our concert ends? I was looking for somewhere to have it, but I'm not so sure about a darts bar. Wouldn't it be better to go somewhere quieter? Yeah, if too many people are there, we might cause a commotion. You heard him. Darts bar is out. What if we get a private room? Do they even have private rooms at bars? Not that I've ever heard. Ha! Huh, you know nothing. I use them for speed dating, among other things. Well, whatever. I don't care if you want to handle the reservations. Four-person darts? Guess we could have teens of two. Nope. Five people. Five. Five? Me, Koichi, Kaoru, you? Ryohei turned to me as if just realizing it. Hmm? You're coming too. M me? Is it okay for me to come to your meeting? Of course it is. You're already one with Ro. Spirit and body. <laughs> <laughs> Kaoru smacked Takuya on the head before he could finish. You shouldn't say things like that in front of women. I guess it wouldn't be that fun if it was just us guys there. Don't make her come just because of that reason. You don't want to come. I mean, I don't mind. And then come. It's the day after tomorrow. 
If you don't want to go, it's okay to say no. But won't our options be limited if we have it after the concert? No, those places are open late, so it won't be a problem. You guys are getting a bit too excited over this. Are you saying that you don't want to? It sounds fun going with everyone. It's not that it doesn't sound fun. He leaned towards me and whispered in my ear. It'll take away from the time I get to spend alone with you. Uh. Good, it's settled then. Well, let's all have a good time. Takoya left the dressing room in high spirits. We're out of here too. It should be fun. I better get some practice in before we play for keeps. Soon after, the two left, and it was just Rohei and I in the room. Well, I better make up for that future lost time right now. Well, I never saw that coming. It should be fun, though. I'm kind of excited about it. I'm not arguing that. Is there some sort of problem? He already said. You coming is the problem. What? Why? If I get drunk, who knows what'll happen. Do you get bad when you're drunk? Not me, the others. He said with a troubled sigh. You really think they're going to hit on me if they get drunk? To tell you the truth, they're not that bad. At least, I'm not worried about Koichi and Kaoru. It's Takuya. Why's that? Huh, I would think he would be able to handle his liquor better than anybody else. Just not sure what he'll do to you when he gets drunk. When you say it like that, it makes me kind of worried. You're not the only one worried about it. It makes me sick, imagining him all drunk and hanging off of you. I could tell that it really bothered him. Maybe it's better if I don't go. No, you should. Make up your mind already. I'm sure we'll end up going. If you come, that means we'll be able to spend more time together. Yeah. However, you better stay close to my side. I will. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Protect me? Is Takuya really that bad? Let's just say, I don't want him to lay a finger on you. He nuzzled his face closer to mine. We're alone now, shall we? Okay. Well, I agreed awfully easy there. <laughs> Usually I'm more resistant. Hey, did you lock the door this time? He curled his face down low and scooped up my lips with his. Your face is all red. He smiled at me as he took in my face. You too. You're red as a tomato. Yeah, I'm excited. Because it's been a while? That, and you look prettier than ever. My heart is racing just seeing you. Thank you. His blushed face came nearer as he dropped a kiss on my lips. Pushing me gently down on the table, his hand slid underneath my clothes. Ryohei, you'll be late for the next job. The manager hollered out from the other side of the door. <laughs> Why does this always happen to us? Ryohei, are you still changing in there? I'll be right out. Hurry it up! After making sure the footsteps went far away, I slid off the table. You didn't tell me you still had work. I forgot about it while talking to everyone. Ryohei moved away and started getting ready for his next job. How many times is it now? Everyone seems to get in our way. I guess that's just what we signed up for when our relationship is a secret. It's about location. If there was just somewhere we could go that was safe. If you had some vacation, we could at least go somewhere and no one would bother us. Vacation? That'd be nice. You're always working, though. You don't ever have time off. I do. You do? Tomorrow. You're off tomorrow? Yeah, I forgot. I just found out that something got delayed and I get work off tomorrow. Really? Guess what? I'm off tomorrow, too. What a coincidence! Let's go somewhere, then. But it's a national holiday, too. What's wrong with that? Every place will be crowded? A lot of people will be off, so lots of people will be out and might see us. Oh. Going into the city is going to be impossible for us. Let's go to my place, then. So, we'll just enjoy it like normal, then. So, my house? I'm fine with that. It had been standard to come to my house, since we were already limited for safe places to go. Can I come tomorrow around noon? Sounds good. I'll be waiting for you, then. Just like that, our plans for tomorrow were set in stone. It was early in the morning, and Rohei would be coming over around noon. That's it for cleaning, and I've already bought all the ingredients I need. I was all set for the day ahead of us. All I had to do was wait for Ryohei to come, but it was still a long ways off. Waiting here for that long would try my patience. Every second felt like it drew on for hours. I bet he's gonna show up early. 
Who's here? I asked myself when the doorbell rang, but it was way too early to be Yurohei. Figuring it might be delivery, I checked the door only to see Yukie. Oh, bad timing, Yukie. Sorry, we're gonna have to push you out of here. Yukie, what can I do for you? You said you had today off, so I sent you a message saying I'd stop by. Huh? Well, let me guess, you haven't read it. Sorry, I didn't. Oh. Sorry, I was running all over the house. I must have missed it. I'm busy cleaning. Do you need a hand or anything? I just finished, but... Well, what's the matter? I told Yuki about everything going on in my life. So, that's why you didn't check your messages. Yeah, I'm a bit of a nervous wreck right now. You're always so lovey-dovey with him. It's embarrassing to even watch you sometimes. Oh, I better get out of here so I don't get in your way. Sorry, I hate to make you leave when you came all the way here. It's okay. I don't think I can stomach watching you two anyway. Bye now. See you later. As Yuki I went to leave, suddenly Ruhei appeared at the door. It was still much earlier than when he said he would arrive. Yuki? Hi there, Ruhei. Hi. Wait, I've forgotten if you two have met before. But we have, once or twice. That's right. There was that time at the cafe. In any case, I better scram. I don't want to get in the way. See ya! Yukie left in a hurry, waving goodbye. She sure is energetic. Yeah, she's really sweet and nice too. <laughs> yeah, it's like she never gets tired. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to make you stand there. Come on in. Thanks. Rohei took a seat while I prepared us some tea. Thanks. It's been a while since I last came here. Yeah, because you barely get any time off. I never needed it before. Hmm? Even if I took time off, I'd just sit alone in my house and sleep it away. Working was more fun than that. Then again, working is still plenty of fun. But now that I can spend it with you, my free time is a lot more valuable now. Ryohei, that means a lot to me, thanks. He nodded and gave me a wonderful smile. I like spending time with you too, but it's more complicated than that. What do you mean by that? I like seeing you on TV and stuff. It makes me happy for you. But that means you have to work, so we get to spend less time together. It's like I'm happy and sad at the same time. Do really? Come here. Ruhei pat his hand on his lap as a sign for me to sit there. Uh... What's the matter? Come, sit. Ruhei tilted his head at me curiously. Okay, I guess. It's all yours. Mm hmm. A little hesitant, I sat down on his lap. He slid his arms around me from behind and smiled. Feel better now? Are you still sad? No, but now I'm embarrassed. When his arms wrapped around me from behind, it felt like his love blanketed me. Don't be. No one can see us here. Relax and enjoy it. His face peeked at mine from the side, rubbing his cheek against mine. Hmm, you smell good. It soothes the soul. My heart started pounding so loud, I thought he might be able to hear it. As I sat there still, his hands moved slowly toward my breasts. At this rate, I'd play right into his game like I always did. Oh yeah, have you ever played darts before? Darts? Oh, like Taka you wanted to play? Uh-huh, I've never done it before. I was hoping you might be able to teach me. Yeah, I played. Takuya and I played it plenty of times. So you can teach me? Sure, but you don't have a board and darts lying around, do you? No. I can show you the stance to use at least. Okay. What are you so nervous about? Don't be so tense. I don't know. It's my first time, so... Just relax. Okay. I'm glad your first time could be with me. Stance is probably the most important thing. Pretend that mirror is the target. Basically, you just have to point your shoulders at it in a straight line. Like this? Yeah, that's good. Spread your leg shoulder distance apart and move your hand where you want it to go. Just like he had instructed me, I threw my arm out in front of me. Yeah, just like that. Ryohei clung directly behind me, his chest pressing against my back. Did you really need to be this close to show me how to do it? It made me so nervous that I was having a hard time concentrating on my form. Are you listening to me? Y yeah Now the next thing you need to do is... He was teaching me so sincerely, I felt ashamed for having those kind of thoughts. Poke. Kya! 
His fingers drilled into my side, making me let out a hideous squeal. Rohe, what was that for? Sorry, I couldn't help it. Jeez, I can't believe you. Don't be so angry. He let out a nervous laugh, but seemed to be enjoying himself. Dummy. That was quite a cute sound you made there. Only because you poked me in a weird spot. Does it work if I poke here? Ah! His finger slipped inside my shirt and traced down my spine. Your back is your weak spot. Whenever I touch it, you always make the best sounds. Weren't you supposed to be showing me how to throw a dart? I was, but now I moved on to better things. He grasped around me from behind, cradling my body in his arms. I can't put it off any longer. Ryuhei, wait! It's your fault for making such an erotic sound. Now you're blaming me? His hands held me in place, groping me up and down my body as I burned up inside. Mm. Don't hold it in. Let me hear your moan. He enticed me with a whisper in my ear. Ah. Let me hear your voice, your sexy wild voice. He crept his fingers across my skin, going lower and lower. Is this your favorite spot? He teased as his finger slid inside me. Ryuhei! Ah. You are so cute, Dorelli. I love you. Entwined in his arms, he guided me down onto the bed. His tongue took the place of his fingers as he fondled my body. He riddled me with kisses while saying how much he loved me. When it was all said and done, the setting sun painted the room in an orange haze. He never taught me how to throw after all. Yeah, he did. I think that was enough. I really was going to at the start. How did it come to that? Sorry, you made such a cute sound I couldn't hold back anymore. Ugh. Rohe looked at me with an innocent face that I had no choice but to forgive. Just like so many times before, I'd fallen into his trap. As the two of us lay there, his stomach suddenly growled. I forgot I haven't eaten anything. Me either. Have anything to eat? So I cooked Rohe a homemade meal that we both thoroughly enjoyed. After dinner, we sat and chatted into the night that Rohe ended up sleeping over. It was the day after Rohe slept over. I headed to work along with him to help prepare for the concert. <sighs> While picking out clothes for Ryuhei to wear, I let out a great yawn. <sighs> so, both of you didn't get enough sleep. And you had time off? How naughty. Tagaya. Ryuhei snapped out of it, but his blushing face gave himself away. Who cares? It just means you're getting along. Jeez. If you're so tired, you should try to take a nap. I'm fine. I'm more worried about you. You're the one with a concert to do. It's okay. It's going to be a good one. I just know. Oh, yeah. About the meeting afterwards. You should save that until the concert's over. Yeah, but I should probably mention this first. Were you not able to get a reservation or something? N no, I got one. We have a reservation, but... But what? Unfortunately, it's not for a darts bar. What? Why not? I couldn't get one, so I had to reserve a private room at a restaurant. And here I spent all yesterday practicing my aim. Shoot, I was looking forward to it too. Aw, oh, come on. Don't look so gloomy, everyone. That's not the face our fans want to see. When the concert was over, the group and I headed to the restaurant. Takuya didn't do any of the things Ruhe was afraid of, however... Ruhe had a bit to drink, and spent nearly the whole time napping on my shoulder. Aww. Do really? One more. Muttering words in his sleep, he kissed me on the lips many times that night. The others wouldn't stop teasing me about it the entire time. I too became sleepy, just watching him, so we fell asleep side by side. Aww, well that was cute. I felt kind of anticlimactic somehow though. I guess mostly because we didn't actually get to play darts. <laughs> well, you know, I'm really surprised that they don't use the pregnancy thing in stories very much. I can't believe this is actually the first Otome game I've played where the heroine got pregnant. You'd think that would be a bigger thing, a bigger draw in Otome games. Well, he was cute, but Taiga still has my heart. And Subaru, secondly. <laughs> I definitely chose well with those two. I knew ahead of time I was going to love those most. 
I still don't quite get the manly thing that they talked that they talked about in his description. I don't see him as manly. He's just cute. <laughs> is it just me? Alright, well, all we have left is K now, so next episode will be him. And I wanted to start reading him tonight, but my voice has not been doing so well if you've heard the last couple episodes, so hopefully I'll be feeling better tomorrow night. So hope to see you there or in one of my other videos. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.